Hold it right there for a second. Oh, that's perfect. Hi, welcome to Imperial Yeast Homebrewing Series. Today we're going to talk about building a starter. So each of our pouches contains 200 billion viable cells, which is enough to pitch a 5-gallon batch at standard gravity. However, there are a few circumstances where you may want to build a starter to increase the number of viable cells. If your batch size is larger than 5 gallons, if it's a high-gravity batch, so above about 1070, or even if your pouch is slightly past its expiration date, you can build a starter to increase the number of viable cells. Remember, you can always refer to our website for the pitch rate calculator to help you determine whether that's necessary. So let's talk about the tools that are necessary to build a starter. You need a flask, a stir plate, DME, water, a heat source, yeast, yeast nutrient, sanitizer, and aluminum foil. Plan ahead. You'll want to make sure you give your starter enough time to finish. If you have a stir plate, you can build a 2-liter starter, which will take about 24 hours to finish. If not, no worries, you can build a 4-liter starter, which will take about 48 hours to finish. In both cases, that will ensure a full replication of cells has occurred. Weigh out 100 grams of DME per liter of target starter volume. That's about 200 grams, or 7 ounces, of DME in a 2-liter starter, or 400 grams, or 14 ounces, in a 4-liter starter. Add the DME to the vessel you will be boiling in. If you do not have a flask, a pot will work just fine. Add enough water to the boil vessel to reach the target starter volume, either 2 liters or 4 liters. Add about a quarter teaspoon of yeast nutrient to the boil vessel and cover with sanitized foil. Bring to a gentle boil for about 15 minutes. Keep the vessel covered to maintain as much of the volume as possible. After 15 minutes, allow the wort to cool to about 70 Fahrenheit or 21 Celsius. If you've boiled in a pot, take this opportunity to transfer your wort into a clean and sanitized container. As with beer, anything post-boil needs to be sanitized. Pitch yeast into chilled starter wort and cover with sanitized aluminum foil. Be sure that your starter is in a warm environment, around 70 to 75 Fahrenheit or 21 to 23 Celsius. If you're using a stir plate, you can expect your starter to be done in about 12 to 24 hours. At the 24 hour mark, go ahead and turn off your stir plate. Your starter should be finished. If you don't have a stir plate and you're using the intermittent shaking method, give it a swirl several times a day or every time you walk by. If you're using the shaking method, you can expect your starter to be done in about 48 hours. The stir plate slash shaking will add vital oxygen to the starter and remove CO2. Now you are ready to pitch. You can either pitch the entire contents into your wort immediately, or you can store it in your fridge for about 14 days before pitching. Always remember to sanitize anything that will come into contact with your starter. There you have it, your first starter. Happy brewing!